before you check out Slab City, you always have to check out Salvation Mountain. And then Slab City is that way. I just believe that God really built this mountain. I didn't. I'm not really capable of, especially being an artist, and I'm just not capable of doing anything, but God Almighty can do anything. And if I've talked to God a lot, and I, I keep a saying almost every morning, God, use me if you can. I want to work for you, God. And look at the mountains going better than 10 churches all uh, put together sometimes. No, when it comes to paint, I just love paint. Old paint, new paint, pretty paint, and I like latex at first. If I get a pretty color oil, high gloss paint, I keep it for the flowers. So no matter what comes in, I'm excited about it. <laughs> people just bring me their paint. And I like to give postcards to people, so it's a give me mountain. I have no education for man whatsoever, so if there's any part of this mountain, it's not, I didn't read it in a book, or I didn't push a, a internet push button. And now people, will, uh, People really think I'm an artist. I hope I'm not a counterfeit. <laughs> yeah, I've learned by mistakes, man. You make a mistake and you kind of have fun doing it, but then you look back and say, hey, there must be a better way. I made one mistake that took me four years and the whole mountain fell off. So I don't want to make mistakes that big anymore. At first, I didn't build it right. And uh, I, I went to the dump and then I'd get a refrigerator truck tires and I'd fill them with sand and put them in here and put some cement with it. And in 1991, the whole mountain fell down. Uh, I probably had two or three hundred tons of adobe up here. And uh, it was about that time I looked up and uh, I says, God, you build the mountain. Just don't let Leonard build it. God, you do it. And uh, boy, ever since then, I just started digging in this mountain and I've been totally happy ever since. The Salton Sea needs uh, tourism and money. We need people to come in and, and fill up the restaurants and put their waitresses to work. And I hope that in years to come, this thing will turn into a tourist attraction and bring millions and millions of dollars into California. Who hasn't been to Slab City yet? If you're in California, Slab City is fairly close to most of you and before you head into Slab City you always have to stop here Salvation Mountain this mountain is made of clay hay and paint and it was one man's vision so you stop here check it out admire how much work one man put into that and then you head out this way Slab City's that way We got to get a look at the van here. Lots of van life in Slab City. So here's a look at my van. Cool angle. Before we take a tour of Slab City, you have to stop here. Salvation Mountain. The top of Salvation Mountain, how tall is that? A hundred feet? This is a creation of one man. He had a vision. And this is all made out of clay and paint. I'll show you guys some of the hay I saw. Let's go this way. You can see some of the hay right there. He created this mountain to spread a message and that's passion man even if you're not into this you have to admire the passion this guy had for this and look he is no longer with us mr. Leonard but look at all these people still visiting this place we stop by here every time slab city is that way and we always stop here to check this place out 
to admire this place. Okay. Salvation Mountain is always the stop when you're in Slab City. Now, we're going into Slab City. I'm gonna try a little tour here. 